Turning waste into cooking fuel, it's a technique known but rarely used. Farmers in Kayalitsha, Cape Town, decided to take the plunge. Food waste is put into a hole, sealed into an environment without oxygen. Water is added to the mix and decomposition begins within this biodigester. The organic elements produce methane, an ideal gas for domestic cooking. It smells pretty bad, but it is very useful. We can get about an hour and a half of cooking out of this. So it is a good idea. It helps us a lot. The project is taking place with help from the engineering department at the University of Cape Town. For the students taking part, the most compelling idea is that of adaptability. These biogas systems are very effective for farming families who have to manage large amounts of vegetable waste. They can be replicated on large scales. The project could move from family farms to industrial settings. The great thing about this technology is that it can be used not only in small scale applications like ours here, which is an eight cubic meter digester, um, but it can be expanded exponentially. Um, and we're finding that all around the world people are meeting with a lot of success with this technology. Universities are interested in turning waste into fuel for both environmental and economic reasons. The production of biogas from waste requires less infrastructure and maintenance than importing fossil fuels. It's a solution that could also prove advantageous in urban areas. The prices of energy, both electricity and thermal energy, are increasing all over the world, not only here in our context. Uh, companies and businesses that might have not considered uh, this particular technology before are going to start being interested in it because all of a sudden it starts making financial sense. With the exception of Germany, a pioneer in the bioenergy field, industrial biogas facilities remain relatively anecdotal. In South Africa, the use of biogas is just beginning but slowly gaining momentum. In November, the first meeting ever held in South Africa on the topic of biogas was held near Johannesburg. At the same time, the government announced the introduction of a carbon tax in 2013 intended to encourage manufacturers to focus on clean energy and the country as a whole to diversify its energy mix.